Wayne, welcome. It's great to be here, Phil. Thanks so much for having me back again. It's been a few months since we were sitting together in New Jersey at SBC. Tell us about 76 Capital. What is going on? You, everywhere we look, we see news about some of the exciting things going on. Well, it's just a, such an exciting time in the sports betting industry, in just the overall sports innovation world today, all the things that are happening. And it's just great to be able to work with great entrepreneurs like Davion Ross and Bruce um, Ayani over at Shot Tracker and what they've been, they've been able to do and the accomplishments that they've made in such a short amount of time since they've now been able to truly show that their technology, the sensors inside of the basketballs can now track real time data and enable coaches and broadcasters and in the future, bookmakers and giving them real time data inside of basketball games. And some of the, what were startups are being embraced by larger corporations. Yeah, that's the one thing that's amazing to see. I mean, we have a company called Swish Analytics that we're investors in, and we're investors with the LA Dodgers in that in that company, along with the um, you know, a lot of some other really great groups. And we're now the official data provider for Major League Baseball. You know, that's one of the main amazing things. So it's us and two other very large companies are the you know, official data providers for Major League Baseball. And this is a startup. This is a young company. This is run by really, really smart entrepreneurs who are really pushing the limits and thinking about how they can truly transform and innovate the sports betting industry. And that's what Major League Baseball calls these guys. You know, in their press release, Kenny Gersh from Major League Baseball, who's speaking at our conference on November 6th, you know, it, what he said was that Swish is their innovative data provider. And the things that they're able to do now with you know, just the unbelievable supercomputers and algorithms and super smart people that are leaving companies like Facebook and Google to come to work for us is incredible. How will some of these advanced analytics affect the game and coaching? Well, that's something that's amazing. So one of the things that we, so we sort of were talking about with Shot Tracker and how you can actually now track real time data as the game is progressing. So you'll know which is the right five from your team that should be on the court. For the first time ever this season, you will have iPads on the bench. Apple iPads will be held by the coaches on the sidelines and will have access to real-time data. So those, you know, those interns that run up and down the sidelines and hand the, 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 um, the, the stats every four minutes when there's a timeout and they hand a piece of paper to the, the coaches, that's not gonna be necessary because you're gonna have all of this data in the palm of your hands on your iPad as a coach. Some of the ideas and startups that are landing on your table. Initially, let's take an example of Visa, very outside the box thinking and really disruptive. And now it's transforming and almost creating a whole new way of reporting. Well, when Brian and Brent Musburger, I mean, the legendary Brent Musburger, all those years broadcasted all the biggest games in the world. And he always hinted about the line. He and Al Michaels always talked about that, right? But Brian and Brent had this idea of putting a studio in the middle of a sports book and reporting on the sports industry the same way that CNBC reports on the stock market. And that's, was, that was such a big idea. And right after PASPA was overturned, things have just been booming for that business. And those are the kinds of entrepreneurs with the big ideas that are doing something extremely bold and that are incredibly passionate about what they're all about. Those are the types of people that we want to get behind. And now VEASAN has gone from just being, and when I say just, I mean, we have an incredible following on Sirius XM channel 204, but now we have our own channel where we're, where we're, where we're broadcasting live 17 hours a day of programming. We're on the air for a total every day for 24 hours a day. Our shows are now on Nesson, they're on Madison Square Garden Network, or on Sling, Fubo, and many more platforms to come. It's just amazing to see the interest um, for information and truly credible information and independent you know, in information. And so we have all the bookmakers, all the bookmakers that are here at G2E, they all come on, on the air and, and, and share with, with us how they created the lines, why they created the lines like this, where do they believe there's potential opportunity for you as a better, 
how can you actually, just like you see the different um, prognosticators and other people kind of come on to CNBC and talk about the stock market, but what's better than talking about your home team, your favorite college team and seeing why the line is, is at a certain place and why things are moving in certain directions. That's the kind of information that's incredible. And when you can actually do that, not only before the game, but while the game's going on. So very similarly to how Scott Hansen does the red zone on NFL Network, we have something called the green zone where you can actually see how the line is moving in game and where can you potentially make your bet and make a play that may, may make you money because some of the information that we share with you as to what's going on at that time of the game, it's pretty incredible to see. And it's something to watch. And when you when you do this while the games are being going on, it's really exciting. And these technologies are rooted in your startups and 76 Capital. And what we're also seeing with your companies is they're moving the needle in regard to awareness from the general public in what's happening in regard to sports betting and adoption around the country. Well, there's an incredible opportunity to educate the market today and really share with all the things that are happening at this time as we're sitting here in the middle of October, right? You've got 13 states that have legalized sports betting. You've got that are, that are operating right now. You have 19 states that have passed laws and many more to come when the legislative sessions roll over in 2020 and they're starting to get into all this an opportunity for them to pass bills so there's this opportunity now to talk about what you can actually get involved with how you can engage with your favorite teams teams love it um the the you know the leagues that were so against this are now really leaning in and they're putting their best people you know, in, involve, getting them involved in this industry because they see the amount of fan engagement. They see how much money is being bet and they realize that that money can actually bet, be bet legally now in a regulated market. And that's something that we really care about because we want to make sure that it's fair, it's above board, and there's true integrity across this whole industry. When 76 Capital has had uh, amazing success in attracting great startups and now startups that are gaining traction and being embraced by larger corporations, leagues, conferences. You're having more success at 76 Capital than some of these large cities around the world funneling millions of dollars into trying to attract quality startups. What's your formula for attracting such great startups? You know, our formula really starts with the entrepreneur. It starts working. We want to find, you know, these entrepreneurs that are truly smart, that are passionate, that we believe that we can help and we could add value to help them move their business forward. You know, we're really not concerned about where they're located. We're not concerned about, you know, what stage they're at. If they're a young company and they want to get started, we want to invest in them. My partners, you know, as, as you know, Ryan Howard, you know, who was one of the greats, played for the Philadelphia Phillies and now is on ESPN as an analyst. Having him out there, having him doing baseball tonight, you know, during the playoffs, being one of the faces of baseball is a big deal for us because that helps us, you know, not only just attract more opportunities and bring more entrepreneurs in, but it also then helps those companies. So for what we're all about is how we can invest in one of these companies and these entrepreneurs and then help them be successful, how we can truly add value. How can we, you know, connect some of our athletes to help those businesses actually move forward? And we, we've, you know, our, our model and our, sort of thesis behind all of this is really starting to ramp up right now. And we're super excited about the future. We're super excited about the market today. You think about how fast and how big this market is going to be in the sports betting industry. It's it's incredible, you know, and it ties into the things that are happening in the sports tech world. You know, we haven't even touched on what's happening in the esports world and how that has an interesting, you know, angle within the sports betting industry with sports tech. And just the fact that esports is being looked at now as a real sport 150 universities plus offer scholarships to kids to play video games competitively it blows people's minds when they hear these things but that's the world that we're now living in and that's the thing that's so exciting these are the opportunities that we see these are the entrepreneurs that we want to back and we're, we want to be there with them all the way through thank you thank you so much phil appreciate it. it's been always great to see you Likewise.